amigos and amigas. How you doing? It's Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Shout out to my mom. Hey, love you. Um, and I was just watching a film festival thingy and I remembered that I am supposed to be doing these videos. So today I'm going to take you through what it looks like for me to do a very simple meal. Honestly, I am not really the biggest cook in the world. I still rely a lot on takeout and just about every restaurant where I live is doing curbside right now. So that is pretty awesome, but I can show you how I do some things from start to finish. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm in my van. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do a little flippy here, I think. Maybe not. I still don't know how to use this thing. It's just my phone, but uh, let's see. This is the stove. So I gotta move my yoga mat, essentials, and open up the stove. So, let's see, that is kind of a two burner stove. Came with the came with the coal. Pretty simple, and it's propane fueled. So I gotta turn on the propane. Open up the door. Da, da, da. The propane is underneath here, underneath the van. So I have to turn it on just a little bit. Yes. Okay, oh, and if I'm cooking with the stove, I've got to make sure to have the door open because I don't want fuel and f I don't want flames and I don't know I just don't think it seems very safe to not have the door open so okay and then um let's see I have a fridge but I don't use it because I have another way to store food but my fridge is full of cooking ut like utensils and stuff so, I have a pot and a spoon. Close up the fridge. All right. Sorry, I gotta figure this out a little better. But, okay. Um, water. I live very close to a natural spring. There is a water system in the van. I just haven't figured out how to use it yet. So, but I get natural water once a week. Put it in this very, very expensive Yeti canister. Way too expensive. There we go. Pour it into the pot. Just in, I'm making soup. If you didn't, if you wanted to know. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I can turn on the burner because the, the propane is going through. So let's see. And that's the light. And then I have a lighter in here. This is always, don't play with fire, folks. Okay. So the propane is now going through the burner. And we have a lit flame in the car. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. I know I'm really dorky. Don't have to tell me. All right. Um, let's see. I am going to. I have food storage in here. And I'll talk about this later, but like food storage is actually really important because mice will try to find your food and they will come and live with you and you'll have unwanted roommates and that is not okay <laughs> i'm talking from experience here okay put this back 
I'm really not very good at this. Okay. Stop self-deprecating, Irina. All right, so I have these things. Rice ramen. Delicious. They are gluten-free. And they're full of good things like millet, brown rice flour, buckwheat flour, and then there's like a little powder pack in there that's like shiitake mushrooms and stuff. So I can manage to eat fairly well while I'm doing this. Got it at the hippie store. I mean, what, what can you say? It just is what it is. Um, put it in the water. I think I actually need a little bit more water in there. So I'm going to do that. And this takes a long time to... I don't know. It just takes a long time. Patience is a virtue. Back together, sealed container. Okay. Garbage. Let's see. So my garbage situation is I store my garbage in in the van, and if I have any like raw food or anything that creates a smell, I throw it away that day. If not, um, if it's just packaging or whatever, I'll wait until I go to the gas station and throw it away then. I don't know what the town thinks of that, but I gotta, I try not to have a lot of waste, but I do have it still. So, all right, so here we go. Water's not really that warm yet. Um, so I'm going to make this shiitake soup. Oh yeah, I got to put the little seasoning in there too. <laughs> I never thought I would be looking for plastic bags, but since living in a van, these actually are important. I know it's bad for the environment, I, and I really do try to make sure I have as little waste and environmental impact as possible, but, you know, I'm just trying my best. I'm sure there's probably people who will complain about that, but... Okay, uh, let's see. Now, this is my cooler. Woo! See it? Sort of? It's a knockoff Yeti. And this is how I keep things cold. I change my ice, like, um, every other day, I think, depending on how warm it is. What do I want here? Oh yeah. Yesterday I went and got some fresh greens, which I want. Oh, I might want an avocado. Oh, avocado. I love you, avocado. And I went and got this uh, Portsmouth. Health Mesplin Mix. I love getting greens from local farms because they're usually delicious. Way better than whatever I could get at a regular grocery store. Close this up. Ah. And I need to sit on it. Often. So I'm now sitting on my cooler and I close it up. Okay, so looks like, oh, yep, soup is still going. Let's 
see. It might take a little while, but so I'm gonna have the soup, um, the greens, maybe some avocado. I have some blueberries too. I might have. Um, oh yeah, and I really have to keep things clean because. Well, first of all, I work in healthcare and with the COVID-19 situation, things need to be clean, very clean. So let's see, I've got disinfecting wipes that I can clean down my area with. I bought these before the pandemic started. That was smart because I think if I bought them like two weeks later they would have been like five hundred dollars I don't know it's ridiculous but okay and also so which, um Hand sanitizer, very important. Muy importante. Wash those hands. How's the soup coming? It's starting to look. The noodles are getting soft. Oh, that's good. Yay. It's gonna be good. It's so simple, you know, but I'm a simple girl. I don't need an awful lot. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why I can handle van life is I just don't require an awful lot. Um, it's kind of been a thing, minimalist thing for me. Oh yeah, uh, let's see. I want to show you back to my refrigerator, aka food storage. La la la. I've got some dishes in here. That's a compostable plate, but it hasn't been composted yet. <laughs> it still works. And I have some silverware. Oh my goodness, everything's falling. bowl. Well, I guess I have to decide if I want to eat this straight from the pot. I'll put it in a bowl. I might just eat it straight from the pot, honestly. Simplicity. I got a spoon. La la la. What else do I have? Got a knife. And I think I might need a fork. Do I have a fork? I had one. Well, I have this bamboo one here. I'm trying to keep it all organized. It's important. Okay. I'll take my greens. Make a little salad. Try to get a lot of fresh vegetables inside me as much as I can. And this is good. Good greens. Good for my body. And I'll open up this avocado and have half of it. Gorgeous. I can't wait to eat it. This one I will probably put in a plastic bag, the other half, and put it in the cooler. And look at that. The soup is ready. Woo! So I can turn off my stove and also 
I want to turn off the propane down at the bottom because something about having propane on while I'm driving just makes me feel like there's a problem. So that's turned off. And I think we are ready. So I've got my avocado, I've got my greens, I've got my shiitake noodle soup, and that's pretty much how we do things around here. Pretty simple. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!